What's good everyone, I'm your host the third. Like, comment, subscribe for more content while you're here. Before we start a video, you need a few things. Obviously a computer, your PS4, your PS4 controller, and your USB charger. Fair warning that you will not be able to use your controller wirelessly. You will need to connect it to the uh, computer, and you will not be able to use your headphones wirelessly with the, the controller you needed with the computer. Uh, if you have those things, now go to your PS4, turn it on, head to your settings, and click on the remote play connection settings. Once you get there, I need you to enable your remote play. Whatever account you want to play on, you need to make it primary. If you don't know how to do that, just head over to your settings, or if you're in there already, go into your account management and activate yourself as your primary. Whatever account that you want to play on. Since you got all that done, head over to your computer and Google PlayStation Remote Play or click the link in the description that I got for you guys, whichever one suits you guys. Once you head in, you will download the application PC or Mac, whichever one is for y'all guys. Certain requirements will need to be met and you will find that on the website. Once you got the application downloaded, start it up and you'll see this pop up on your screen. Click Option Preferences and sign into the account that you just made primary, the one that you want to play on. Once you got that done, go back and change the resolution and frame rates based on your connection speed. My connection speed is not the best and I still have them both on high and it still runs kind of smooth. Uh, you will get some choppy frames at the time, but uh, whatever best works for you. So before you start it up, you'll need to put your PlayStation in rest mode. Make sure it's always in rest mode. That's the only way the computer can start it up. Plug in your USB to the computer, your PC or Mac, whatever you're using. Connect your controller and go ahead and start it up. Once you start it up, it should log you into the account that you signed into and you should be good to go. Thank you for watching this video. If I helped you, like, comment, subscribe. Comment if I didn't help you and you still need help. Uh, subscribe and share the video to your friends who also need help, man. I'll greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. See y'all next time.